Okay, this is our second video of doing a, a problem from its description, going to pseudocode and then into its code. Um, the problem you see there in front of you, it's a company that sells juice products and they took a survey of a certain amount of customers and they determined that 19% of those buy juice boxes, so many buy apple flavored and so many buy fruit punch flavored. So this program simply is going to display the number of customers in the survey who purchase juice boxes in general and also how many purchase um, apple flavored and then how many purchase fruit punch. So pretty straightforward here. I got a couple of percentages there. I'm going to start with pseudocode again. Uh, and I'm going to create a several um, constant variables. All right, one is going to, we're going to declare a constant integer. Uh, for the number of customers. All right. And then we're going to declare constants for uh, uh, constants that are doubles for the uh, percent values that we have in the program. All right. And there are three of them 19%, 53%, and 23%. And then we're going to declare variables for the calculations that we need to do. All right. And then we got to do our calculations. So again, it's the inputs, calculations, and then our outputs. That's the typical programming approach. So calculate the amount of customers that purchase uh, purchased juice boxes. And we need to calculate the amount of customers that purchased the apple flavor. And then calculate the amount of customers that uh, purchase the fruit punch. And then our outputs. We're going to display the amount of customers that purchased um, juice boxes in general, regardless of the flavor. And then we're going to display the amount of customers that uh, purchased apple flavored uh, juice boxes. And then finally, we'll display the amount of customers that purchased uh, fruit flavored pun uh, boxes, juice boxes, or fruit punch. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and those are your high level steps pulling it out of here. All right, again, I'm going to write the details. What is this constant integer that we're going to declare? So we have a constant. I'm going to call it number or num for short of customers. Again, all in uppercase because these are constants. That's going to be an integer. So we have our variable declared already one. Now we're talking about we need constants, multiple um, of doubles right, for all the percent values. So here we're going to create uh, customers. Uh, with boxes that order boxes as a double and set that value to 19% right, which is actually 0 0.19 right. oh, I've got this constant up here which needs to be set to this 13,458 Right, and we got two other constants. All right, so this one was constant of boxes. This one's just going to be how many are getting the apple, and this one was the fruit punch. All right, this is 19. This one was 53%, so it's 0.53. 
and this one is 23%, so 0.23. Then the variables we need for calculations. Right? We're calculating three things, so we need to declare one variable that we're going to have is juice boxes as a double. Declare our other variable will be apple flavor also as a double. And we're going to declare punch flavor also as a double. Alright, so again code is forming. We got some we got four constant variables and three regular variables. And I'm going to jump into the calculations. So juice box. Right, juice boxes equals. Alright, and I'm just going to cut and paste on my from my notes here. Right, what that calculation is. Right, and it's the number of customers times the customers' boxes, which is the rate for how many they buy boxes we have here, which is the 19%. All right. The next calculation is how many of these people that buy juice boxes, how many of them purchase the apple flavored juice boxes? All right. And that would be that equation. All right, so we had to calculate how many juice boxes are being purchased. And then how many of those, that, what percentage of that is apple? All right. And then the last calculation, which is similar to that one, is for the fruit punches. Using all our constants and our variables again, our variable is punch flavor. It's the number of boxes being purchased, and how many of those are actually fruit punch. All right. Then our outputs. All right. Again, we're going to see out. And I'm going to do a little cut and paste here again. Right. What is the actual message we want to display? Right. Right. We want to display the amount of customers who purchase apple flavor. Oops, nope, wrong one there. This should be just juice boxes. Cut and paste the wrong one. Right. Who purchase uh, juice boxes is. And then we also see out uh, that variable is juice boxes. Alright, now we want the apple flavored one. Alright, and also then see out the variable oh, apple flavor. And of course, the last one, same output statement really. We're just going to change apple to fruit punch. Flavor and then also I'll put um, the variable punch flavor and there's our program. All the details in there and we can actually start coding it like we did before which always starts with our include statements. Right. Using namespace, All right. we can start our program. As its return statement, which is zero. Alright, then we can start coding. We have a couple constants we said we're going to create. Alright, all those constants up there. I'm going to do a little cut and pasting here. Copy those, and we're going to bring them down to here. Alright, constants, they can be global. Alright, so we don't need this line at all. This changes to a const. Alright, there's our variables, All right? we want int in front of this because that's an integer, these are doubles, alright, and we're going to set this equal to that value, we're going to set this guy equal to that value, and this one gets set to that value. And then the punch constant. Alright, there's our constants. They all need semicolons at the end. Alright, this should get rid of all our squiggly lines. 
All right, there's our constants. And next thing we said, we're going to declare these variables. All right. These are local variables, so we put them inside main. Juice box is going to be a double. And depending how you wrote the, the statement up above, you could probably do less deleting than I am. And this is going to be a double. Apple flavor. All right. Moving along here, right? You can see we're not taking much effort to go from the pseudocode to actual code. But again, we thought the logic out. We have, in theory, removed some bugs that we potentially could have typed in as we tried to write the code, worrying about the syntax at the same time as we're trying to figure out the logic flow. Once we have our variables, all we need is the calculations. So I'm going to cut and paste again here just to save some time. Because we have those calculations, they're written as code already. We just got to get rid of these comments that are around it. All right. And oops, get rid of that one. Need semicolons at the end of them. All right, if I typed in everything right and I didn't, doesn't look like my, cust my constants are matching. A couple typos in there. All right, we can fix those. And of course, the same typo because I cut and paste up above. So again, the problem with cut and pasting. There we go. All right, our calculations are done. Next is just the outputs, and I'm going to do the same thing again. Take those. All right, and again, we do the pseudocode to think the logic out, um, saving us the effort of trying to um, think of the logic and think of the syntax at the same time. All right, and we just need an end of line character there. All right. Again, you can see just using my pseudocode, I'm kind of. I could even make these comments if I want to. Another option you can do is that. You now have your code commented. All right. But I'm going to take it out just to keep everything as compact as I can, so you can see it all on the screen. All right. Let's make these a true C out statements. All right. End the line there. And we finish off this output one. All right, there we go. We have our variables, constants up above, which are the values we're using. All right. Calculation, we had to figure out the number of juice boxes first because it's needed in these two calculations. Then we simply output it. So let's compile and run that, and you can see the results, the fruit of our efforts, no pun intended there. It's compiling, no issues, and there's your output. All right, of the 13,458 customers, 2,257.02 of them purchased juice boxes. And you see how many uh, purchase apple flavored and how many purchase um, fruit flavored. Right. Make this a more useful program, we wouldn't have these constants, we'd be asking the user for input, but at this point we haven't covered that in these videos yet. So again, we went from a problem description, pulled out facts, which are the high level statements here, and then underneath the high level statements we gave more detail as to what those high level statements mean, and I quickly went from the pseudocode into real code, my program's finished, runs, and is completely documented. All right, so good luck. I hope these are helpful.